everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Trails in the Sky, second chapter, part, I think this is part 16. Yeah. Because I ended up looking up how many videos I've recorded. Um, well, actually, maybe it's part 15. Dude, I don't know. I don't know math. Math is hard, okay? Um, we're supposed to be talking to the guard commander to interview the final uh, spotter of the ghost. Is there any chests over here? Apparently not. Or at the very least, if they are, I will not find them because we cannot shift our perspective in this area. Hello, are you the guard commander? You are not the guard commander. Are you the guard commander? Seems like our soldier's getting lazy lately. A while back, there was an idiot who saw half asleep at his post and thought he saw something that made a huge fuss. Yo, give me some food. What do you got? You got salt roasted fish. That actually seems not half bad. Buy a few. Maybe not that many. Buy like three. If we're ever in a situation where we try and heal, or if we're gonna heal ourselves with a regular heal, we'll just do that instead. Okay, dude, no one cares. Are you the guard commander? Welcome! This is a lodging facility for travel. Oh, yeah, sure. I wonder if we should trade into this pith to get some more money. Probably. Are you the guard commander? You are indeed the guard commander. Um, excuse me, we're from the Gracer Guild? Gracer Guild? The Gracers. Yeah, that's the better term. <laughs> uh, welcome. Hey, wait a minute, you're that Bracer who dealt with the Duke! Haha, <laughs> yeah, that's me, I'm surprised you even remember that. Of course, things wouldn't have gone half as smoothly without you. Well, what can we do for you today? Well, sir, we're here about a soldier who claims to have seen a white shadow? <sighs> what, even the guilds heard about that? For the love of... This is ridiculous. You should, have, you should be ashamed, honestly. Ashamed? What do you mean? It wasn't any ghost. He was just daydreaming. And drifting off the way he could could be disastrous if there was an actual emergency. As his commanding officer, his actions are wholly my responsibility. How embarrassing. I think you're getting a bit ahead of yourself, sir. That thing, whatever it has, has apparently been seen all over the region. What? Are you... I see. Goodness, I thought he was simply half asleep, but... We should probably cancel the execution, then. <laughs> Perhaps I did jump to conclusions too quickly. It's been, uh, been far too hard on Nyx in that case. So, Nyx is the one who saw the White Shadow? That's right. He's currently on duty at the entrance to the Caldia Tunnel. Okay. Got it. To the tunnel we go. Let's check. Let's check upstairs real quick. Actually, no. Is, is this the way to the tunnel? It is. Hello. Ho oh, there! You want to head to the tunnel? Give me just a minute, and I'll open the gate. Uh, no, we're not here for the tunnel. We're from the Brazer Guild. You're under arrest. We're here for you, actually. Can we ask you about the white shadow you saw? Hang on. You mean that was just something I dreamed up when I was half asleep? Actually, it wasn't. A lot of people across Rwanda, uh, a lot of people, two other people, have been seeing it. I guess those are just the two others that, you know, we knew of. Or that were, you know, reputable to go check in on. He said sorry for his earlier comments and says you can talk freely about it. So it was real. I know it was too real to be a dream. This makes me feel a bit better, honestly. Though if that thing was real, it's actually kind of bone chilly. Trust me, I know what you mean. Anyway, can you tell us about what you saw? In as much detail as you can, please. Sure. It was three nights ago. I was standing here on my watch shift. You notice how loud the waterfall is, right? You get used to it after a while, but it has a rhythm that can really lull you to sleep. Plus, I had just started my shift and had come from the mess, so I was even more sleepy. So, to keep falling asleep, I walked back and forth around here. And that's when I saw it. I, I see. Uh, what was it exactly a floating man dressed in white old-fashioned looks he or it was dancing just above the waterfall i freaked out so bad i pointed my rifle at it without thinking and shot that dude dead you shot at the g the thing no i meant it to be a warning shot but uh i was so nervous i hit it right in the chest or i know i did but it just floated there as if nothing had happened at all after that it took off like a bird or something heading north Immune to gunfire too. Gunfire too. That's just swell. 
After all, I ran inside and worked the commander, of course. But all that got me was a dressing down for sleeping on the job and unnecessary rifle discharge. Man, that was a bad day. I can, uh, imagine. Well, anyway, it's clearly for the best to just pretend it was a dream and forget about it ever, forget it ever happened. Yup. Thanks for the thought, but I doubt I'll ever be able to forget that. I don't know why that poor soul is want. I don't know why that poor soul is a wandering ghost, but try to help him, yeah? I mean, braces can solve the problems of the dead too, right? Heck no, I'm no priest. But there has to be some reason it's showing up, yeah? We need to figure out what the uh, reason is. Good idea then, or good luck then. It's also a good idea because I came up with it. The door is tightly closed. Whoa. I saw something. What is... Oh, apparently we can fish there. It's time to catch the fattest whopper the world's ever seen. What do we got? We gotta go, go, freaking get these gold angle fishes out of here. Oh shit, dude. Oh, I was too slow. I started to talk right when it, uh, it popped up, so I was, I was a half a second too slow. Whoa, incredible. Papa, mama, come here. Rich folks, get rid of them. Now, now, slow down your trip, pumpkin. It really is lovely. I'm glad we could come with you, my love. Thank you. No, I've always left you two alone back home. This is the least I can do for my family. Let's go harass these folks. That's a really sweet family. Looks like they're on vacation or something. Looks like, yeah. I think they might even be foreigners. It's so amazing. Just looking at it, I feel like it's going to swallow me whole. Well, they must be important, considering they have uh, portraits. Excuse me, miss. Do you know the name of this waterfall? Jerry. Where does all the water come from? The mountain. It's a little out of the blue. Um. Well, the waterfall is called Erletten. The water flows here from Valeria Lake through an ancient waterway. Oh, I know what Valeria Lake is. It's the big lake we saw before the airship landed, right? Yeah, that's right, but airship? Are you from another country? Yep, that's right. I'm from far, far away. By the way, my name's Rene. Rene, huh? It's a really cute name. <laughs> I know. Papa and Mama gave it to me. Of course he'd be cute. Rene, don't bother that nice lady too much. Uh, our apologies if Rene is uh, troubling you too much, miss. I wasn't doing anything bad. No, no, it's no trouble. Hope you don't want to be prime, but uh, what brings you to Liberal, folks? Well, I often come to Liberal for business. Every time I do, I'm shocked by the beauty of this country, so... So this time, we brought myself and our daughter along. Miracles do happen, it seems. Can we talk about the fact she's wearing a fucking collar? <laughs> you guys are like the most perfect, picture-perfect family, you know? Jealous? Papa's away a lot, but he always brings a lot of presents when he comes home. And Mama's always full of smiles and makes the best food. Really, I am kind of jealous now, actually. <laughs> Goodness. Dude, that's like a straight-up collar. That's not like a choker or like a fashion statement. That is a collar. <laughs> I'm sorry, she's still very much a child. Hey, what's yours, miss? What's your name? Oh yeah, sorry, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Estelle, Estelle Bright. I'm a bracer. Wait, do you know what a bracer is? I'm not stupid, I'm a big girl. But that's neat, you're a bracer, huh? You slay lots of scary monsters? Honestly, we get our asses kicked by them. Because I'm bad. <laughs> yeah, that's part of the job sometimes. A bracer, that's very impressive. Yeah, especially at your age. Yeah, we're actually a uh, 52, we just look young. I'm pretty new at it though. There's branch guild branches. I wanted to say bracer branches, but guild at the same time. So uh, it, it came out as gracers. There's guild branches in every major city in Lyra. All four of them. If you folks encounter any trouble during your trip, you can count on us. Really, there's only three cities. Well, no, Bose is kind of a city. Roland is not a city. Roland is like a town, barely. I guess Bose is a city. Bose is more like a market with a couple houses next to it. Uh, come along. I think it's called Bose, actually. I can't actually... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's called Bose. Because it's Roland is the starting one, Bose is the next one, then we're to Rouen, Zeiss, and then Grand Soul. 
Oh, I want to talk to Mrs. Stell more. Hey, Mrs. Stell, will you play with me next time we meet? I guess. Hmm. Pretty energetic little sprout, huh? Bit younger, bit younger than Tita, even, I think. Yeah, she might be. What, they remind you of your old man? <laughs> Just a bit, yeah. I was thinking about how I was around her age. It was I was around her age when Joshua and I first met. Uh, uh see. Anyway, we've shaken down all of our witnesses. Shall we go back to Jean? John? Jean John John Jean John? Okay. Fortunately we gotta walk all the way back. No teleports for us. Probably just run straight back there. I guess we could edit this out, but we're not going to. <laughs> Honestly. Not because like I'm unwilling to do it, mainly because I'm not going to remember. I'm not going to edit this video for like two more weeks. The chance of me remembering to cut out, you know, two minutes of footage, eh. I'll just talk through it. And ramble about nonsense. And by nonsense, talk about how I'm unwilling to edit stuff out. Granted, that was actually a lot shorter than I thought, since we didn't find any monsters. So that wasn't even worth editing out. Because instead I can just complain about how much I don't like editing. Oh, it's a uh, dude and girl. I have no clue what their names are. Oh yeah, N Neil. And I do not know the girl's name. Hey, you're back! Dorothy. I was thinking Penny for some reason, but yeah, Dorothy. Estelle, hello! Neil, Dorothy, what are you two doing in Ruan? <laughs> Obviously getting some pictures taken and articles made for this freaking wildfire of an election. And then I heard something weird beyond that's happening, so I stopped by to check out what's up. Something weird? Oh, you mean this white shadow thing people have been reporting. Actually, while you were out, we had another report of the thing appearing in the city limits. The citizenry is starting to get frightened, and a man answers that I can't give them. Ah, hell, this is becoming a problem. And the caps onto it all, would you look at this picture the young lady took? Yo, Dorothy. Photographer extraordinaire. You mean... What, so you're into ghost hunting now? Uh, it's nothing like that, really. I was just taking pictures of the hotel at night and skaboosh, ghost picture. Here, take a look. Yeah, that is that is definitely a floating white man. Yeah, I'd call this decisive. Oh, come on, guys, don't you think it's just a bit too hazy? I mean, it might be like a malfunction of the camera. Yeah. No, I don't think it's the camera's fault. It's a shiny, brand new model from the Central Factory. I've been taking really good care of it. It's a malfunction, okay? Malfunction. Wait, Estelle, you're scary all of a sudden. I'm willing to put a lot more faith in these sightings now. It seems something really is out there. And more to the point, I think working with the media on this wouldn't be a bad idea at this juncture. So let's all share information. To start with, did you guys get statements from the witnesses? Uh, they said they all made it up and there is no ghost. Oh crap, oh crap, this is an emergency help! What's wrong? Why are you so worked up? Is it a robbery? No, no! The supporters of Norman Porters are arguing. They're facing one another down on the Langwood Bridge. All that fuss over an argument? Hold on, those are the mayoral candidates, right? Friggin... Hold on. Oh, ho, this sounds like an article. It may be a riot. Dorothy, we're on. See you later. Man, they're fast. We should get moving, too. If that thing turns into a damn riot, we need to be on hand. Okay. Are we about to get to whack and smack people? Oh, let's take a, take a water break real quick. You aren't fooling anyone! And this is where the drawbridge comes up and they all fall to their doom. I guess they would actually maybe fall backwards. They wouldn't fall into the water. Most likely. Um, you know that you're behind the ghost that appeared at the hotel. Norman's son is better at him from the shock. Have you no shame? What disgusting tricks won't you stoop to? Oh please, that son is a member of the Ravens. 
Deputy Spice has to trust someone a trust something a worthless thug says. Criticize me as you wish, but only a coward would attack my family. You will retract your statement calling my son a thug. That was probably a bit much there. But sir, why are you agreeing? It's because you've been on issues like that the tourism party dares to try such tactics. Who's daring to try things? The harbor party's the one crossing the line. You really think your harassment with this ghost trick will really stop us? Yikes, this really is getting out of hand. Do you think we should step in? I ain't throwing punches yet, so stay cool. Get into a good position, though. If it does get real, we need to be ready to jump right in. Yeah, but there's so many specters and spectators, we can't get any closer. I think the nail managed to get up to the front already. Oh, he pushed people out of the way. I can't take this anymore! You limp wrist tourist suckers think you can beat us in a straight fight! Oh, that's it. Let's do this. The employees of the Norman form will uphold Mr. Norman's honor. Stop, all of you. Do not think to the sink to the level of thuggery. Everyone calm down, we should discuss this rationally. Well, at least they're trying to defuse the situation. Son of a don't think we can stop him now. <gasps> Is it my boy? I think it's my boy. My goodness, what a tragedy in the making. It is! Let's go! <laughs> Love and peace. Violence creates nothing. It only opens empty chasms between men. To you, I offer this song. A gentle, sad song to encourage you to overcome that which divides your hearts and joins hands as one. <laughs> the sun shines. A rainbow bridge. I cross it to reach you. <laughs> he came in on a boat to defuse the situation. Dancing with loneliness on the wind. Dude, Oliver, play a little louder. It's like super quiet. <laughs> Then may it leave at least a scar. Oh my god, how long is this? <laughs> I can't believe he fucking came in on a boat <laughs> to serenade the populace. See, this is why normally I read the dialogue, because otherwise it's just I'm sitting here being quiet because I don't know what to say. But at the same time, I'm not, I'm not singing, dude. Uh, it seems you were all touched by my song. Remember, there is but one truth. Love is eternal. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, Portos, I think it would be a good idea for both of us to pull our heads a little bit. Yeah, I agree. Besides, we're uh, obstructing traffic. Yeah. Back to the harbor, everyone. Yeah, right, I got flyers to distribute. And the fleeing begins. Can't blame them. Ah, but the citizens here are as easily stirred to both action and rest as anywhere else. No, what truly moves them is the miraculous power of my melody. You there, reporters, take photos and write articles of your heart's content over this day's miracle. Uh, okay, here we go. Say cheese! Marvelous. <laughs> right. You guys still in the mood to talk about that stuff you mentioned before? Yeah. Uh, don't tell me we're not gonna talk to my boy. What? Hmm? Oh, Estelle, where are you going? Wait, no, please wait! Oh, what a great expression! How heartbroken. It's so cute. Did Oliver just get ditched like that? Okay, there he goes. How fickle can you be, my Rose? To meet your fated partner again after such a long absence and then to abandon him, what cruel barbs you cast. Fated partner? My left Strega. What in God his name are you doing in Rwanda anyway, Oliver? Or Oliver? I guess it's, I don't... I'm just gonna call him Oliver, even though he has that extra letter in there. Aren't you supposed to be turned into a prune in Elmo's Hot Springs? Muller contacted me at the Maple Leaf Inn, you see. 
He was kind enough to tell me that you've returned from your travails. Estelle. Travails? What? And I thought to myself, she has been deprived of my person for too long. Her happiness is imperiled. I must welcome her back and flew here post haste. It certainly feels imperiled now. Still, I haven't seen you since the Queen's birthday celebrations. Uh, thanks for your help back there, Oliver. It is nice to see you again. Truly? Ah, uh, but your honesty makes it difficult for me to stay focused. <laughs> when you don't take the opening to, uh, to make a joke at my expense, at least you're wanting something more. Let's see you deliver another wildly fat through broken tea! Whatever. Jean, this thing is Oliver, one of the people who helped us during the coup. He's a musician from Erebonia, we think. Ah, nice to meet you. You seem like an interesting person. So I'm guessing you don't mind if we let him in on this. Normally I want to kick us well. Kick him out on his butt for being an outsider. That'd be even listen though. Just try not to make eye contact. Maybe he'll go away. <laughs> oh, Agate. Truly you are intimately acquainted with my ways. Stop trying to imply things. We never even talk much. We fought on the same side for a little while. Anyway, going beyond that. Yes, that sounds like a very good idea. Seriously, we have to return we have a story to talk about here. Right, right, I get it. So, this is what the witnesses had to say. They they this, they said stuff. I see you managed to gather a lot of detailed information. It's enough to see that something is definitely up at least. Really? I thought a lot of it was kind of vague. Scaring Norman's kid is one thing, but I kind of doubt they'd waste time scaring guards or orphans. Also, whatever this ghost is can fly, that was consistent across every report. That's not something Joe Average can pull off. Well, then, must be a real ghost. Maybe some ancient noble went crazy and was locked up in a lonely cell and forced to wear a mask forever. I get it. And then after hundreds of years, he revived as a spooky ghost. Please stop talking about such scary ideas with a happy face, thanks. Besides, ghosts are supposed to be bound to people or places, so it really can't be a ghost, can it? Hmm, not necessarily. What do you mean, Oliver? You notice something? Well, I cannot weigh on the matter of as uh, I cannot weigh in on the matter of our fugitive ghostliness. However, Stell's report featured several common points. From what she said, I think it's actually quite possible our spectre, spectre is bound to a place or person. I was about to say the same thing, actually. Yeah, okay, sure you were. As a wandering hunter of love, I must keep a map of libel handy at all times. Let us use my map to look at Estelle's sightings from a geographical perspective. Now then, Estelle, you investigated three areas, I believe. Here, here, and here. Okay, so it's a line. What about them? If you look over the testimonies for different for differences, one particular point stands out. Estelle, I don't suppose you see it now, looking at the map? Point that was obviously different. That be when it appeared, what it did, where it went. Mercia Orphanage, it went east. Air Letton, it went north. I don't know what it did in Ruan. It appeared at night at all of them. It danced, so I'm guessing that's where it went. I've got it all. It's where the ghost went that matters. Precisely. A raven feathered tough man in the city's southern block said it went northeast. Our air lightning guardman said it went north. Oh, it's all going to the Royal Academy. <laughs> I get it, never would have figured. It's pretty conclusive, yeah? When you look at it like that, not many other places it can come from, really. Do you think maybe it's uh someone I'm assuming I'm assuming it's an Ouroboros member. Do you think maybe they've uh, infiltrated the Royal Academy? And or maybe pretend, because I mean, some of them were kind of young. They could probably pass as students. At least that one kid looked pretty young. Okay, I don't care if it's a ghost or whatever. We're going to go to the academy and find out just what it is. Hmm, John, it's cool, yeah? Absolutely, I'll phone ahead and go over and go over and investigate. See if you can get to the bottom of all this. I do have to wonder if our reporter friends have any plans, however. Hmm, I really can't afford to cut on the election. Okay, Dorothy, I'll leave this in your hands. Yes, sir. I'll do some real ghost hunting. I'll get tons of pictures. Help solve the damn mystery. You follow us still and take pictures of waiting for the ghost mask. Okay. Don't really get it, but I'll do my best. 
We didn't actually agree to this part. Let's help him out return. Or find or right, the camera girl can come. Feels like this will eat away at any serious the seriousness the situation might have had. We have Oliver in the party, he can't be serious. Couple of mayoral candidates to interview. Oh, before that though, still. Your dad told me a little about the Joshua thing. Not a lot, but enough for me to get the picture. I know you're worried about uh those people. If I hear anything that might be related, I'll forward it to the guild. But um so yeah, keep a stiff upper lip or something. Anyway, gotta go. I mean he tried his best. Aw, oh, Nail's embarrassed. It was a really big shock when he heard about it all from Cassie's, I think. I think he's really been looking for a way to help you, so. Really? If only he could be a bit more honest, it'd be sweet. I'll be sure to contact the guild too, if I take any more neato photographs. So still fight on, yeah, or something. Got it. I guess we'll make our way up there? And then maybe stop? I, would, I guess I could try and fight the monster, if it'll let us. I suppose you want to come too, Oliver? Please. You may as well ask if fish swim or birds fly. Why, after all, do you think I abandoned the warm, moist embrace of Elmo to come here? <laughs> Figures. Um, Agate, what do you think? Should he come with us? Whatever, I don't care that much. Let's get one thing straight, though. I don't really trust you, pal. If you do anything strange and I'll wreck you, clear? Such hostility, such negativity. What a pity. Sometimes a wild type like you isn't bad either, you know? What? Ah, but fear not. I shall refrain from pouring my affection into your untamed vessel until after I've earned your trust. <laughs> Screw it, how about I wreck you right here now, then? Something feels really adult here. It's exciting. Oh boy, time to start locking your door at night, Agate. Oliver is the best. Well, at the very least, get to the entrance. So let's save, because I mean, if we, I, I do need to stop the video soon. Well, I need to, um, I don't want to get caught in a cutscene, basically. Dude, this track always makes me think of like Chrono Trigger for some reason. It just feels like it co should come right out of that game. Which, I mean, that's a very high compliment, uh, because Chrono Trigger has the best soundtrack. And, I mean, I wouldn't say it's not even close, but that's my personal favorite video game soundtrack. There are some definite contenders, though. Looking for a monster of the large variety. It is on this road, right? Vista Forest Road. This is Vista Forest Road. It's not there. Maybe over this way. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we'll give it at least a shot or two. We're not going to actually go to the Academy in this video. Okay, two big old snakes. Hints. Protect all NPCs. Oh god. I, I was hoping she wouldn't actually be a... I mean, she could be good, because she doesn't she like blind enemies? But what do we got? What are you weak to? Weak to fire and wind. So, we'll hit you with some AoE fire. Oh yeah, I should have checked, uh... Old dude's magic. Oh, you have like nothing. You could. I mean, I don't really care about your uh, SP, because we'll probably just go back and heal after this anyway. So what we'll do is I think we'll steal that crit with Agate. Okay, they're very tanky. So we'll let the first one attack, and then we're going to steal his crit. Actually, I think we'll steal with a stealth. If we can kill one of them, we should probably be fine. 
1500 crit, not bad. Okay, that's pretty good damage. Now they are about to get to attack twice in a row, which sucks. Especially because they won't stop hitting Estelle. Oh, she lived with one HP. Let's use a heal. Let's raise her defense. And plus it gives us the recipe, so. That's not gonna kill. I was kinda, I thought he had lower HP. I mean, there's no way that does 12,000 damage. Yeah, only 500. What does AT guard mean? Would you hit someone else? You assholes. You have no heals on the map of any sort. I mean, we have a Terra Bomb. I really don't want to use it. I think you hit her with another fish. Take that. I really need you to hit someone else. If that's uh, something we could uh, get done. Now this should... Actually, I don't know if it'll kill. It might kill. It will not. You're obligated to hit another character, you freaking assholes. I mean, I guess it's good. Estelle, I mean, it's not good, but it, it's acceptable because she is the tankiest character. And we're gonna kill one of them. Not in time, though, because I'm an idiot. You will get to heal. May as well, there's no reason to go for the AoE heal. I mean, you could try and kill the dude, but then you're just signing your death sentence. So hopefully they'll just hit someone else. I mean, Oliver is in their range. I mean, I think everyone is in their range. Would you fuckers... Okay. Wow, that did nothing. Okay, he doesn't explode or anything. What we could do is heal Estelle. So I mean, we've pretty much won. I don't think there's really any way we can lose um, once we got to this point. We've done a decent amount of damage already. Thankfully, we're immune to poison. Your crafts, you have quick draw, sniper shot, it's pretty good. Huh. Cast bouquets away and heals allies. So that's like a big AoE. It's not bad. You cannot chain with everyone. You know, we should try and do a three person chain. Take that! Man, they've got a ton of defense. Finally, someone else has been hit. We could, man, we probably wouldn't be able to finish off of an ult. Let's try, let's try a triple chain. We cannot chain with everyone. How do you, can you not do triple chains? I feel like you can. I just, we're probably messing it up. Because they all have enough CP, right? Or maybe it costs more if you have three characters and we don't have enough? I don't know, dude. Um, granted, they have really high defense, so just go for your magic, I guess. That sucks. Oh my god. Let's play it safe, go for the heal. I didn't realize their, uh, their non-venom attacks did that much damage. Okay, let's 
Let's get one more flare arrow in. I think we I think we're just gonna try and kill with our ult. Yeah, just just end it. Just end it, dude. Flame Smash 2. Hell yeah, brother. So, exterminated the monster. What we'll do off screen is we'll definitely go back and turn that quest in. Get a little bit of uh, Mune, Mune, Moolah, Dollar Dollar Bill, y'all. Um, yeah. I'm XGZ87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.